A very warm hello to you, this is Phil from Savage Kitten with a short Photoshop tutorial on how to make a reusable template for small 12 ounce latte sublimation mugs. There are of course templates you can already download for this, but the ones I've seen that appear quite popular require you to warp your image to fit the outline of the template, and each time you work with a new image you have to reapply the warp. This approach uses smart objects, and the benefit of these is that the smart object works like an embedded sub document where you can create and edit your design. The warp is applied to the smart object so that it also automatically applies to your design each time. A couple of points before we begin. First off, I'm using Photoshop for Windows, so if I mention any shortcuts, they'll be the Windows versions. This template is available for download and you will find the link in the info below. And finally, if you find this video useful, then please do give it a like and consider subscribing. Comments are always welcome and I do try my best to reply to them. Okay, so on with the tutorial. I'm starting with an A4 landscape document at 300 pixels per inch, and that's 29.7 by 21 centimeters. I'll give all my measurements in centimeters throughout. The first thing I want to do is create myself a new layer, so let's click the new layer icon and then I need to convert this new layer into a smart object and I can do that by right clicking over the new layer in the layers palette and choosing convert to smart object. You'll notice there is a small change to the uh, layer icon thumbnail to show that it's a smart object rather than a standard layer. Uh, while I'm here I'll just double click the layer name and rename it And then the next step is to actually set up this new smart object. So double click the new layer thumbnail, which will open up the smart object as another document. So you'll see the original one here is still open. And then I have this one over here, which is my smart object. I need to set the smart object to the correct size. So let's go to the image drop down menu and choose canvas size. So I'm going to set the dimensions to 17 by 9.5 centimeters, which is the same size as I need my mug wrap to be. Then I'll click OK and if prompted proceed which accepts the fact there's a little bit of clipping based on that original size. I'm now going to fill the background of my layer with solid white so if need be press D to set your default foreground and background colors to black and white and then on the keyboard I can do control and backspace to flood fill with the background color or you can go to the edit menu and choose fill or do shift and F5. So to make my template a little bit easier to use, I'm going to bring in some ruler guides. First of all, let me just zoom in so it's easier to see what I'm doing. And we'll bring in some vertical guides at a number of positions. So let's have one at around about 1.5. I'm not being massively precise here. Uh, we'll have another one around about 7. And one at 8.5. Another one at 10 and one more at 15.5 and then for the vertical guides let's have one at the 0.5 mark another one down at 9 and then just to divide the screen up around the middle we will have another guide at about 4.7 which is my sort of halfway mark and I could do the same sort of thing you know around about sort of 4. 2.5 with a couple of extra vertical guides just to give myself a few extra zones on my template and same over this side okay so this divides my smart object and template up into sort of zones I mean I've also got the full wrap there this area down here represents that space either side of the mug handles and same on the other side which means that what I've really got here are the sort of face areas of the mug. So I know when I position my design roughly where it's going to appear on the mug and you know make sure you can see it when it's face on or, or held in the hand. And just again to give some examples so we can see what we're doing, I'm going to put some holding text on. And I will just copy that over to the other side of the mug as well. So I have it on both sides. 
And there we are, that's the smart object pretty much done. So I now need to save that. I'm just doing Control and S. And for demonstration purposes, really, I'm just going to close that down, which returns me back to my original document. Now, once again, just to make things a little bit easier to see, with my smart object layer, I'm just going to double click over here to the right so that I can add a layer style. And I'm just going to give it a thin stroke around the outside edge. Uh, just four pixels in this case, and OK it. I will turn that off again later on, but it just helps you see that is the mug wrap kind of smart object shape and size and position. We now need to apply the transformation to it. So again, make sure that layer is selected. We're going to go up to edit and choose transform and then warp. Need to set the warp type to be arc and the bend is going to be 26 percent and once you type that in you can OK it click the tick and that pretty much is my mug wrap ready to go uh, I'll just add a couple of finishing touches to this so first of all I'm going to add another new layer between background and my smart object and uh, with that layer active if I hold down the control key and single click the layer thumbnail for the smart object it will select that layers non-transparent areas as part of the selection and I'm just going to enlarge that by going to select modify and expand we'll expand it by 30 pixels which is what was already in there but okay that that expands my selection and then all I'm going to do is go up to edit and apply a stroke two pixels is fine to that selection and then I can Control and D to deselect it. Uh, what I use this for is when I print it, this is pretty much my cutting line. So I tend to cut with the scissors just inside that line. And of course, when I print, I wouldn't have that stroke on. And there we go. That is the finished template ready for me to save. And uh, the idea now is once I have this saved, if I need to do another design, I'll load my template up. All I have to do is double click my smart object to reopen it. I can then make my changes, you know, whatever it is I want to do. I feel like I have to do it on both sides now. Save the changes to the smart object again, go back to my originating document, and there we go, it is applied straight away. So it makes it much quicker to make these changes. You know, you can work with that entire design on here. You've got your grid lines ready to go, set it up, do what you need to do, save it, and that transformation is automatically applied. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. Once again, please do consider giving a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.